given a intersection b is equal to a intersection c and a union b is equal to a union c where a b c are non empty sets then b is equal to c we are going to show that b is equal to c we will use um, that criteria that if we show that b is a subset of c and c is a subset of b then it will imply b is equal to c okay and to show that b is subset we will show that x belongs to b implies x belongs to c and to show this we need to show that x belongs to c implies x belongs to b so this is how we are going to prove further Okay. Let x belongs to b. Then x belongs to a or x belongs to a complement. Only two cases are possible. So we take case one. X belongs to a. X belongs to b. X belongs to a. This implies x belongs to a intersection b. And what is a intersection b? A intersection b is equal to a intersection c. This will imply that. X belongs to A intersection C, and this will imply that X belongs to A, which is nothing new because we know it already. And X belongs to C. This is important. This is something new. X belongs to C, so we have X belong. So in the case one, if X belongs to B and X belongs to A, then X belongs to C. Now we consider the case two. Case two. Case two says that x belongs to a complement. Now, as x belongs to b, so x belongs to a union b because x belongs to b, which is equal to a union c. This implies that x belongs to a or x belongs to c. But we know that x belongs to a complement. This implies that x does not belongs to a. So x must be in C. Hence, this implies that x belongs to C. So whenever x belongs to B, doesn't matter if it belongs to A or not, we always have x belongs to C. Always, always, always. So thus, this implies that. So this implies that x belongs to B implies x belongs to C. This implies that B is a subset of C. Similarly, we can show that C is a subset of B, which implies B is equal to C. Hence, proved.